yesterday, they were pretty successful. So I want to bring in now Dr. Josh Warman. He's the president of the Center for Severe Weather Research, part of that and the head of that Toral Research Team. Josh, first of all, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Talk us through your day yesterday. Well, it was a very exciting day for us, and we were able to get a pod deployed in one of those tornadoes, in a very strong tornado, while we were getting radar coverage through that tornado. We're trying to reconstruct the three-dimensional picture of what the winds are in that tornado as it evolves from second to second as, as it's doing damage. So we can study the relationship between the winds, how much wind it takes to do exactly what kinds of damage. And obviously a, uh, a dangerous job because you've got, to, mm -hmm. you've got to deploy your crews in front of a path of a tornado. Let's talk about that. Well, we have a very careful choreography. Mm -hmm. We're trying to surround the tornado with our weather radars. You see one of the Doppler on wheels behind me. And then we're also trying to drop these pods right in front of the tornado, but of course get those teams away just in time. So we need to be ambitious to get new data, groundbreaking data, but we also of course want to keep our team of about 20 people completely safe. Absolutely. And yesterday you were in Winniewood. You were able to capture some data from a tornado. Tell us about the data that you've looked at so far and have you learned anything from it? Well, first of all, I'll say we haven't learned anything yet. It's just the next morning. What right. we're doing now <laughs> is seeing what we collected. We right. know we got a pod in that tornado. We got some very strong winds. We also had a mobile mesonet near the edge of the tornado with some strong winds. And then we have three-dimensional radar data slicing back and forth. I've been looking at that radar data through last evening, and it's amazing data. We're basically about a mile from the center of the tornado, maybe half a mile from the edge, and we can see extreme details as that tornado is swirling around with multiple vortices crossing the road in front of us and crossing, most importantly, over that pod. That is absolutely unbelievable and incredible stuff that you guys are doing. Let's talk about what you're going to do with this data from here on out. What are you, what's your plans with it? What we do is take literally these terabytes of data that we've collected we archive it, first of all, to make it safe. Sounds kind of boring, but that's real important. And then we take months, sometimes years, to analyze it, to really try to reconstruct the tornado and its three dimensions, really four dimensions, because it's evolving. And we're trying to learn about the tornado structure. Are there updrafts and downdrafts? Uh, the multiple vortices as they spin around the tornado, how do they correlate to damage that we've documented with video and photographs, some in real time, and try to understand exactly how tornadoes damage buildings. Does it take 100? 50 miles an hour, 180 miles an hour? How does the duration or changing wind speeds affect the damage that it does? Mm -hmm. And try to really connect the physical measurements we have with the unfortunate damage that we see after these big tornado outbreaks. And we have about a minute left here, uh, Josh. So uh, is this the kind of data that you're actually going to say, take in, put into simulation, put into models, uh, that kind of information? So maybe possibly help better forecasting or warnings? The data that we're collecting this year is focusing on tornado structure. We're trying mm -hmm. to really understand the nature of the tornado itself. How does it do damage? How does it evolve? One of the important things to understand about tornadoes is why some of them are much stronger than others. Right. And understanding about the structure, understanding the energetics of the tornado is very important for that purpose. Also, it's very important to understand what kinds of buildings are stronger, what kind of buildings resist tornadoes better than mm -hmm. others to inform new building codes. So understanding really the nature of the threat, how strong are the winds inside these tornadoes yeah. is very important. We can understand some from tornado, Absolutely. Uh, we can understand some things from damage surveys, but we also need to connect it with direct measurements mm -hmm. of the wind from the radars and from these pods. Doing some incredible work out there. That's Dr. Josh Warman. We're so grateful for your time. Go get some sleep, uh, get some rest, and we'll see you back out on the field here pretty soon.